Hey guys, it's Kevin here coming at you with another TA vlog and I wanted to dedicate this vlog to just showing you guys what us teen ambassadors get to do behind the scenes when we're not presenting in summits or in conference. We get to advocate in our local communities. So as I previously mentioned, um, we advocate on our communities, whether it's through hosting fun events and that our participants can learn how to be a um, advocate and also be nicotine free, but also do presentations in our local community on dates that support our cause like Red Ribbon Week and the Great American Smoke Out. Speaking of Red Ribbon Week, my youth group Tobacco Prevention and Control Coalition was able to do two successful events regarding Red Ribbon Week. One of those events was one week prior to Red Ribbon Week, we were able to do a cigarette butt cleanup here in South Potter Island where we were able to pick up 1,600 cigarette butts, which is amazing. It was amazing seeing the engagement, but also how my youth group came together to make our environment a safer and cleaner place. Not only that, but my youth group also did a variety of presentations at our local middle schools. We were able to present to middle schoolers and tell them about the negative uses of tobacco. But So when you think of water vapor, think of like a little spray bottle or when you have a pan over um, the hot stove with water and there's like uh, gases coming, that is water vapor. But aerosol is actually um, the particles in the air and these particles are very dangerous. Um, there can be a thousand particles in these aerosols and they can negatively affect your food. There are different levels of nicotine. So in one packet of cigarettes, there's around 20 cigarettes, uh, which is the same amount of 20 milligrams of nicotine in a pack of cigarettes. So in electronic cigarettes, it can vary depending on the type of vape, but usually there's around two to five uh, packs of cigarettes in each um, e-cigarette. So let's say your friend is using a e-cigarette that has around like two packs of cigarettes in that single pod. And they've said, oh, I've been using four this month. So they're actually using around eight packs of cigarettes throughout that whole month just by using this product. And the nicotine travels to the brain um, within 10 seconds, right? And 10 seconds is super like fast, right? Because when you think of like medications, when you go to the doctor, your doctor might tell you, oh, take this medication, it will go into your system within an hour or some months, right? But with nicotine, it can take 10 seconds. This is extremely fast, and that's why it's super easy to get addicted to this product. Nicotine is addictive as heroin. So we all know that heroin is one of those nasty narcotic drugs that is really bad for you, right? And what if I told you that nicotine is even more addictive than that. So people, that's why people have such a hard time dropping this product because it's so addictive. And it is 1,000 times more potent than alcohol, and it is five to 10 times more potent than cocaine. Again, going back to that. Is it, uh, 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 is it cocaine like a dangerous drug? Mm -hmm. And nicotine is five to 10 times more potent than cocaine. Oh, the cocaine will have a stronger drug. Yeah, and nicotine is even more stronger. There are several health consequences of vaping. So one chemical found in e-cigarette flavoring is a buttery flavored one called disidol. And disidol can cause bronchial, bronchiolitis, which is a, if you guys don't know what the bronchioles are, they're basically there's tubes in your lungs. And what e-cigarette, using an e-cigarette can cause, it can cause those, bron those bronchioles to inflame, making it super difficult to breathe, and it can cause you to cough, it can cause also popcorn lungs, so popcorn lungs is, it causes the LBI, which are these like small, um, like these little sacks. Kind of like.